Amanda, thank you. Of course, this investigation, as we mentioned, has spanned four months to the day, starting with Maya's disappearance on January 7th. We've reported sounds that may have been gunshots were heard in the neighborhood that night. January 9th, her family reported her missing to Chula Vista police. The next day, the 10th, officers went to Milete's home on Paseo Los Gatos to begin the investigation. At that point, the search for Maya officially began. Now, we know tonight investigators executed a search warrant at the Milete home. This is one of several search warrants that have been conducted in relation to the case, as Amanda just noted right there. The second, though, for the Miliete home. The first search warrant at the home was executed January 23rd. In the first week of February, Maya's family and the Chula Vista police held their first media briefing to get the word out to the community and gather that support. Maya's family also held the first rally in support of finding her. Since then, several searches powered by volunteers have been done throughout San Diego County. Police have released bits of information, including they have interviewed 55 different people and reviewed more than 40 tips so far. And just this week, Maya's family held their latest rally outside of Chula Vista Police Headquarters on Tuesday. They say their goal was to put pressure on the department to release more information and conduct officially sanctioned searches for Maya. All of that, of course, leading to tonight, where that second search warrant was to executed at the Miliate home in Chula Vista. News 8 will continue to follow the developments in the case, of course. Stay up to date on air here on our website and on our social media channels.